do you know where my daughter is? Do you know where my daughter is? Does anyone know where my daughter is? I thought about this the other day because I think about my mom sometimes. She passed away in 2020 uh, during the peak of the pandemic, although she passed away due to natural causes, not coronavirus. My dad actually wound up with coronavirus. He passed away December 20, 2020, but he was with a second wife of many years. Um, and um, my aunt, whom my mom was living with, and I was living with both of them, died in April of 2021. So technically during the peak of the pandemic, before people really got back to normal, three people passed away in our family. I was living with my mom and aunt, and if my mom could have witnessed or witnessed how I was treated in Florida, she would have cried. And I, she would have thought, that's, what are they doing? Who are these people who I'm supposed to call nephews? So my mom's own nephews behaved so badly. It's an embarrassment to the male species worldwide. And I thought about my mom coming in a dream or as a ghost, you know, almost kind of creeping into, not really creepy, she doesn't really do that, they do, but, um, but coming out to these people and saying, do you know where my daughter is? Where is Sharon? Is Sharon here? Do you know where she went? What happened to her? Is she okay? Does she have enough money to live? What happened to the person who never bothered a soul and hustled her ass off to pay her own bills and not rely on anyone like you guys did? Like all the quote unquote men who are able to live in households because of other people, not because of their own hustling and hard work. Do you know where my daughter is? Is Sharon here? My mom would have bawled her eyes out. I almost did, but I know that someone out there is working hard to make sure that I don't appear weak to the people who are actually weak. Where's my daughter? Now we thought about this. What if my aunt had passed away before my mom? My mom had to rely on um, my aunt, even though my mom worked many more years than my aunt, but my mom had to move down to Florida at a certain point um, in more retirement age-ish years. She still had to work. My aunt relied on two previous husbands and their checks. My aunt worked from time to time, but it's not the same. My mom was a single mom. She had to work and work and work and work and work. And still her social security check wasn't enough to really uh, you know, live on her own. Um, even rents for apartments are too expensive for the lowest level security. I'm kind of curious why she got the lowest amount on social security, seeing as how many years she worked. Uh, but anyway, the home belonged to my aunt because she was living with her second husband and he passed away. My mom moved in with my aunt. And anyway, that's how my aunt came to be sort of a seeming person who can provide kind of, not really. She really couldn't have done it on her own, could she? And what's more hurtful is, is to hear other people say, oh, it's so good, you know, Aunt Jane, that you could have, you provided a home for your sister. That's such bullshit. Because my mom worked harder and longer, many more jobs. My mom actually took on second and third jobs. She worked at best, in addition to her normal job as a secretary. She worked to help clean the office where she worked normally as more income. My mom did a lot of stuff. She had to hustle her ass off while a bunch of whores got away with murder. But what if my aunt had passed away first? I'm kind of curious what my male nephews would have done to myself and my mom. Would they have kicked my mom to the street? So 
I kept picturing this for some reason. My mom kind of coming in to their homes like a Christmas ghost saying, do you know where Sharon is? Where's my daughter? She would say it for my sister as well. My sister happened to be somewhere else in a different predicament. But there are people who could be asked the question, you know, that same question, people who ripped us to shreds as children growing up. Where's my daughter? Do you know where my daughter is? So this Christmas and this Thanksgiving, and also for my birthday, which is December 1st, I would like my nephews and their spouses and their in-laws and everyone there in between to think for a second about how they got to have what they have, who helped them, how do they even get their work, whether it's freelance or if they wound up in a job at the age of 40 after spending, you know, most of their adulthood after 18 in a band or similar? Who can they thank for doling out work to them so that they could keep going? At a higher level, they get to live in houses and feel cozy and comfortable and safe and secure all the time. Do you know where my daughter is? Where's my daughter? Is she okay? Is Sharon okay? What did you guys do? Like, did you help her or what happened? Alan, Shannon, David, Judy, Ethan, Barbara, Howard. Do you know where my daughter is? I won't bring in the adopted daughter because she's basically innocent and wound up stuck with these people. Having to figure out who she is as a person, naturally. Where's Sharon? Is she okay? Is Sharon okay? <laughs>